hi guys uh, welcome to another tutorial uh, of mysql database administration uh, today we, we have been studying uh, the binary logs uh, in the previous blog we have discussed how we can what are the binary log what is the usage of binary log and how we can enable or disable the binary log and how we can enable or disable at the session level as well and we have seen uh, where the binary log are stored and what are the index file and some few settings about the binary log if you haven't watched that please uh, go back and watch my previous video about binary log and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and please like share and comment okay so further going on uh, what uh, we have to do what are we doing today and how we can uh, move or to the next log or how we can switch the file so in order to do that what you have to do is the all you need to use is flush logs command and then uh, it will st uh, stop right into the or uh, it will close the current log and then it will open a new one so let's say uh, let's check what is our current uh, what is what are we currently reading so currently we have this 11 12 13 15 and if i check here as well we have these files okay uh, so 11 12 13 up to 15 so now if i go here and say flush logs okay so then what it's gonna do is uh, then I show binary logs it is gonna come up with a new one uh, if you see here 16 has arrived here and our new file has been created as well uh, 16 so this is how you can switch uh, if you want to switch uh, at the runtime uh, then how you can this is how you can do it so that was about switching and then if you want to set the expiry log because uh, binary logs consume a lot of space because obviously your application gonna do some a lot of writes and a lot of updates a lot of dml uh, inside your uh, database and what the binary log uh, are written uh, and all the changes are written into binary log so obviously it's gonna uh, take some a lot of space uh, inside your os or inside your storage so uh, leaving them as it is can fill up all the disks in no time uh, depend on your uh, database uh, how uh, traffic is so it is essential to clean up and in order to do that you have to set the expiry of the log uh, there are two variables used uh, the first one is uh, log bin expired log seconds and by default this is uh, I think yes this is set by default let's check this uh, if this is set or not yeah by default we have this one uh, it's around 30 days i guess yeah it's around 30 days so if you divide them into 60 and then well if you convert them into days it's gonna come up around 30 days you can but you can set it and if you want to set this uh into days then all you have to do is uh, set this in warm in this variable i think this is not enabled by default the zero means uh, this variable is not gonna work for you so currently this is uh, going around this variable okay so if you want to set the expiry logs uh, then you have to like set it like this uh, if i want to say but uh, this one gonna overcome this one okay so this is you have to take care of this so if you want to disable uh, expired log days then you can set it to zero and it will disable all the expiry and let's say uh, you want to uh, purge uh, logs uh, if you want to remove the logs from the mysql uh, prompt then you can do is like purge binary logs up till uh, this any server any uh, binary log you want then you can uh, do it till that so let's say currently what we have is i want to purge till 14 okay so let's say so now uh, we have purged uh, our binary logs till 14 so before 14 11 12 and 13 has been purged out okay so if we check here uh, we don't have any of those 11 12 13 and before we had them okay here yeah. so that's how you can manually purge your uh, binary logs so and next we have uh, we have uh, binary log formats so uh what are binary log format why do we need that uh we will check them in the future as well but let's uh, do something how we can do that so 
we have three types of binary log format we have a statement based uh, row based and mixed based so in statement based uh, actual sql statement or log whatever you execute like update and any uh, dml statement you execute uh, that is going to be stored inside your uh, binary log and then we have row uh, so what it does is any changes made to each rows are locked for example an update statement updates 10 rows so the updated information of all the 10 rows uh, is written to the log and where is in the statement based replication only the update statement is written and the default format is row so and what and what is in next one is mixed mode so my sql switches from statement to row uh, as when needed and uh, mostly for update what it does in mix mode is for update it's uh, uh, write a state it write a statement and it is going to be an insert statement then it's uh, going to write your uh, it is going to write as a binary log uh, binary statement so in row base it writes a binary statement inside your binary log so the binary statement is not uh, human readable and if you want to know uh, what is my current uh, uh, log format uh, so as far as so I think by default is uh, row and this is how let me show you guys so yes by default is our row row base and uh, in row base it uh, store only uh, your and if you want to set uh, it to statement base uh, this is how you can do it and now if you check your binary log format uh, it is now statement base so uh, now if you want to change it to row again back uh, this is how you can do it row okay so that, that's it and now it's row again so before we change it to uh, statement base then uh, we change it to uh, statement and in some of the mysql uh, servers uh, mysql version you have to disconnect in order to take uh, if you want to take effect of this change so you, you have to take care of that as well so that's it for today guys uh, thank you so much for visiting uh, this channel and uh, watching this tutorial i hope so this is gonna help so i was uh, looking for backups and replication so before that we have to cover this binary log because this take uh, this this take ha this have a huge role in mysql backups and uh, binary uh, and replication as well so thank you so much guys for watching tutorial